Hello, this is Omran. Today, in this video, I'm gonna make a, an effect using tie flow, which is a melting effect. So I'm gonna be using here a, a model I downloaded from Sketchfab. I can't find it. It's free. So um, first, the melting effect using a texture depends on the uh, black and white uh, values of uh, texture. So for this effect, I'm going to use a noise effect or noise texture in 3ds Max. Now the effect uh, will start with white and then goes to black. So that's how it is. So white is 100 and black is 0. So uh, in order to have the object visible, then you need the texture to be on white. And that when it uh, graduates to black, it will disappear. So let's make a texture first. Let's use the 3 ds Max noise. And we're gonna animate the, the noise, noise values. So first, I'll go to 100, for example. Uh, so to have fully white, the, uh, the high value needs to be 1. And the low value needs to be below the high value, for example, 0, 5. And then, so we we'll start from zero, and then to one hundred. I will go to one and point nine five, for example. So now it's fading from black to white, or from white to black. Sorry. I'm gonna add some fractal give it more details maybe about the levels to have some variation okay so now we have the texture ready and now build the tie flow we add the tie flow here the scene first as usual we add a birth event and then we yeah, add the position object. So the object's going to be the igloo. And I want all the particles to be spawned at the beginning. So I add the end at zero. And then I pump up the total amount. For example, uh, let's say 500, 5000. And then uh, we're going to use a surface test. So the surface test is a, an object surface. So then I'll pick that object. And uh, you can choose the surface test type to be a texture. After you specify the texture, then specify that texture. Or you can use uh, the, uh, the material. If you apply the material to an object, you can use the diffuse pickle or whatever. But I'm just going to drop the texture here instance okay now we have uh, the test based on the texture ready then we need to tell it what to do next so the new events gonna be um, after uh, the black and white applies to the texture what, what do you want to do so now I'll apply some force so I want the snow to fall when it uh, melts so I'll add a little bit of uh, gravity here, let's say one. And I want to give it a little bit of uh, randomness or turbulence using this. So I'm going to add like point 0.1. So now if I scrub the timeline, let's close this. Yeah, first uh, I'm just going to change the color of this, the, this event to, to have more visibility. You can see the particles are changing based on the texture. Yeah, so um, first uh, I'll, we are not seeing how the texture is applied here. So I'm just going to add material and then add that uh, texture as a diffuse to see how it appears here. 
So this one has uh, the same material, I'm just going to give it a different one. I don't want the floor to melt. So if you are happy with the size of the uh, texture, then if you are not happy with the size, size you can just uh, scale it down here. Let's say 10. That's on 15. Okay, so so the it's not gonna melt this way. Just gonna cancel the view. Sorry, I'm rendering. That's why it's slow. So anyway, uh, I'm just gonna hide this one or make it as a box. Then you can see clearly how the snow is melting. So now I want to, the snow to stick to the floor. In order to do that, I need to add a, a collision test. So the collision, I'll tell, I'll tell the collision to the particles collide with the floor. So what does it need to do? Uh, so if you want that particle disappear after some time, just I just added the, uh, like just keep colliding for 15. I think that's a uh, number of collision, which is, uh, I think it's uh, based on the fr frame number. So right now the particles just collide, as you can see, and they stick to the floor. So I want just to give them more of a melting effect, or they are just sliding above the surface. So I'll add another force. I'll just uh, give it some wind. Yeah, one thing. So, because I added the force here, uh, now because I have another one here which is uh, wrong, so I want after the particle collide with the surface, I want it. I want them to have that sliding effect. So, I'm just gonna move the force to a different event and connect the. Collision. So after they collide, they're gonna move to the to this type of force, and then they're gonna slide. But now, right now, they are falling off the floor. So in order to avoid that, uh, we need to add an object bind here. So we're gonna add object bind, and then choose the surface. Reverse so first I wanted to lock to a surface and uh, make friction as zero because friction is uh, the, uh, if it's at zero then they will slide above the surface if it's 100 they are going to stick to the, the surface so the effect may be that not that uh, So one thing, what's happening here is the particle that's below the, the surface are falling. So I think I just need to lower this one. And give it... So we don't have a display here, that's why we don't see how the particles are interacting. I'm just gonna add a display. it yellow to see clearly see the particles are moving on the surface if you like that effect then it's fine if you don't then you can just play with the force here maybe it's too much the strength or maybe it's too little if you make it two for example they're gonna keep sliding so in order to avoid them sticking to the floor and sliding I'm just gonna add uh, uh, send out. So the send out uh, test is uh, just telling the particles to just move to a different event, which is this event will have a delete uh, event. So now there, 
they are deleting immediately on entry, event entry. So I'm going to have a event age and let's give it a maybe 50 to 80. you like most. So anyway, now uh, we have the particle ready. We need to make it as a mesh. So in order to do that, we need to add a time measure. And you pick the tie flow effect. So you see the particles now, you just control the effect here. With this. Okay, that's good. Then I just need to increase the size of the, no, sorry, the number of the particles. Thousand fifteen twenty. Yeah, wherever you find best. Twenty-five. Okay, so now the effect is. So what's happening here is that because we have a delete uh, command that the particles are disappearing one by one. You can make that easier or uh, looks better if you added a scale so if you add a scale here the particle is going to scale down before getting deleted in this time 150. just to experiment with these values. That's what I did in my previous uh, effect. So that's the overall effect. Looks like it's uh, melting all at once. This is because of the size of the texture. So if you just make it bigger or slower, then you'll have the uh, effect clearly. You can make the length of the effect takes longer for the texture to change from white to black. Yeah, that's it. Hope you find this uh, tutorial helpful. Well, thank you.